Hi, well, welcome to the course on Apache Kylie. My name is Michael, and in this course, we're going to take a journey on how to implement OLAP on the Hadoop platform. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing, and this technology is the power behind many business intelligence applications. So, in other words, we're going to be learning how to build OLAP on an enormous data set for which the Hadoop platform was built. Before I continue, let's talk about those who are really going to enjoy this course and what you would learn. If you're a data engineer, big data developer, data architect, data analyst, a business analyst, or you are someone who just wants to be able to write complex aggregate or analytical queries over a large data set and still want very little latency or response time, this course is for you. And what would you learn? What Kylin is, how it works, how to build cubes that run on batch data sets or in streaming data sets, how to deploy these cubes, query these cubes by connecting external applications using JDBC, ODBC, or different visualization tools like Tableau, ClickView. You can learn how to secure your cubes, how to put them in different uh, um, deployment mode, cluster mode, standalone modes. This is just some of the things you're going to learn from this course. Let's just talk about the high level agenda, right? So this course has seven sections. The first section I'm going to detail here, which is just the introduction. We're going to lay foundation for queue building, what Kylin is, how to install it on two very popular sandbox, Cloudera and Hortonworks sandbox. Then I'm going to take a journey to the, the Kylin web console. And also, I'll show you the materials that you need to be able to participate in different sections of this course. Then the next three sections will be use case based, where we'll explore how to build all app cubes on flight data to analyze delays in flight. We will take the very popular AdventureWorks data set and we want to implement how to do incremental cube building and deployment. Then the third one, which is log file, we would learn how to build all app cubes on streaming data sets. Then we will move on to a session where we just take sample clients and see how to connect ODBC and JDBC clients, how to connect external applications using the Kylin RESTful API. Then look at all the features as well, like security, deployment mode, how to use Apache Spark as the execution engine for Kylin. So these are some of the cool features we're going to learn about Apache Kylin. So this course is really for two different kinds of users, right? So if you just want to be a Kylin user, you just want to write query SQL query or MDX queries against Kylin, this course is for you. But if you also want to deep deeper into Kylin as a developer and administrator, you, you, you should know um, some little bit about data modeling. Um, so when we make mention of things like star schemas and snowflake schema, those things should be familiar to you. Also, the knowledge of big data on Hadoop will be very helpful, as well as tools like projects like Spark, Hive, MapReduce, Kafka, HBase. They're not so mandatory that you know all of them, but it's really going to be important to be to be able to move from different sections of this course and get all the all the values out of it. Also, familiarity with Linux will be very helpful. Okay, what do you need to have to be very, very, very connected with this course? Number one is red hot passion. You need to be passionate about data and have that desire to be able to write query against a large amount of data sets. Also, you need a lab. So it's either you use one of the popular sandbox that we have, Cloudera or Hortonworks, I would recommend either of them. Or you can use a cloud deployment like Amazon EMR. But note that when you use Amar Amazon EMR, you will have to pay um, to be able to make use of that service in the cloud. However, if you have any functional Hadoop environment with all the requisite tools installed, that would just be fine. And I would show you in this course how you can get through that. The resources for this course, the course materials are on my GitHub repository, so you would need to download one of them you need to download it and be able to use it yeah that's it see you in class thank you